Nikola Jokic was selected with the 41st pick in the 2014 NBA draft by the Denver Nuggets coming out of Serbia. This is the part of the draft where selections are announced during commercial breaks. Jokic played overseas for KK Mega Basket, a founding member of the Adriatic Basketball Association. Remember their name, they'll come up again later. Between his first two seasons, Jokic was primarily used as a reserve. He only appeared in nine games, five as a starter in his first season, but still managed to average 7.6 points per game, 5.6 rebounds, and 1.4 assists. In his second season, Jokic's role increased, but he was still coming off the bench for most of the season. In seven starts for a total of 39 games played, he averaged 11.3 points, 6.3 rebounds, and 2.5 and assists. His three-point percentage was right around 32%, and his field goal percentage was a notch over 50. Not bad at all. In the 2014-2015 season, following the NBA draft, Jokic became the focal point of the team. He quickly took advantage. He averaged 16.5 points, 9.7 rebounds, and 3.2 assists for the season, with a three-point percentage of 33% and a field goal percentage of 53%. He was already doing things that Jokic we see today does on a regular basis. In the first game of the season, he had 27 points and 15 boards and a big win. In another win, he had 17 points, 12 rebounds, and 8 assists. He was eventually named the MVP of the Adriatic League, and after elimination in the semifinals of the Serbian League, left the team to come to the United States to play for Denver. The rest is history. Jokic quickly became one of the most versatile big men in the NBA. He was quite possibly the greatest passing big man of all time. Already. In 2021, it was announced that he had won MVP for the 2020-2021 NBA season. In the 2020 NBA draft, the Chicago Bulls selected Patrick Williams fourth overall. Rightfully so, the number four pick got most of the attention on draft night and the season going forward. But something else happened that night. In the second round, quietly, while every Bulls fan in the world was looking up Williams' highlights, Bulls Executive Vice President of Basketball Operations Arturis Karnaschovas and GM Mark Eversley selected a guy named Marko Simonovic with the 44th overall pick. No, not that Marko Simonovic, though we did have some fun arguing about it on Twitter for a few minutes. Remember how I said to remember the team that Jokic played for? Well, yeah, you guessed it. Arturis was the GM of the Denver Nuggets when they selected Jokic, and it helped him assimilate to the United States after coming over. Now in his new role with the Chicago Bulls, Arturis had dipped back into that Serbian basketball well one more time. Now, this isn't to put MVP expectations or unrealistic pressure on Marko Simonovic. Nikola Jokic's meteoric rise could not have been seen by anyone, at least anyone aside from Karnaschovas. Uh, AK has been known for making excellent value draft selections like Jamal Murray, Monte Morris, Michael Porter Jr. That said, there are many reasons to get excited for Simonovic, um, who's actually a native of Montenegro and started his career playing for a lower league club in Italy. Eventually, he found his way to KK Mega Basket and immediately made an impact. In his first season for the team, he averaged 16.8 points, 8 rebounds, and 1.2 assists. His second season was a bit strange due to, you know, that whole global pandemic we were facing, but despite the challenges, he still managed to average 15.2 points, 9 rebounds, and 1.7 assists. He also improved his three-point percentage from 31% to 33%. And there are some similarities between Marko Simonovic and Nikola Jokic, which is the entire reason that I'm talking to you right now. Coming into the league, you can identify those similarities in the way scouts talk about both of the players. Both players have been described as great shooters with length and long wingspans. The term threat gets thrown around a lot, usually in the context of pick and rolls, shooting off the catch, uh, that kind of stuff. They were both known for crashing the boards, but while Simonovic uses his speed and craftiness to get putbacks and second chance opportunities for his teammates, he does not quite have the post presence that Jokic did coming into the league. He's going to need to develop a face-up game if he truly wants to live down those comparisons. And just as well, there's not much to write about in regards to Simonovic's passing ability or physical presence. He's just kind of lanky and plays like it. But, you know, that's not to say he won't bulk up or use his already solid basketball IQ to improve as a passer. Uh, there's just, you know, a lot of work to be done there. But Jokic didn't come into the NBA as a dominant big man. You know, the, the player you see today took a lot of time to develop. He made strides in being able to maintain position in the post without getting knocked around, and he refined his back-to-the-basket moves with jump hooks and turnarounds. So Marko Simonovic, with the right tutelage under Billy Donovan and access to NBA training regimens, meals, that kind of stuff, uh, he could become a very good player for the Chicago Bulls one day. 
as it stands right now, he's more comparable to a player like Lori Markkinen or Nikola Mirotic than he is to Nikola Jokic. But of course, things change quickly when you're only 21 years old. And I don't want to scare anyone with those comparisons. I'm just saying that right now, he looks like maybe a better version of Laurie Markkinen coming to the NBA, like I said, at 21 years old. So there's still a lot of room for improvement. Bulls fans should be excited to see what he can bring to the team when he eventually does make the transition from Serbia to the National Basketball Association. Arturis Karnaschovas had previously hinted that that could happen this offseason, uh, but then during his end-of-season press conferences kind of made it sound a little more vague, but that might just be Karnaschovas' talk. Only time will tell. Whenever he does join the Bulls, he will have talented, experienced European veterans to help him with the transition, hopefully molding him into a great NBA player. If you're a fan of the Chicago Bulls or just the NBA in general, make sure to go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, and drop me a comment. Let me know what you think of Marco Simonovic and if you think he could end up being a really good NBA player. Thanks for watching.